Hey, what's up, my fabulous and generous cat love and mojo tears. It is your cat daddy, Jackson Galaxy, at your service. I got a fun topic today to talk about. Before I do that, I definitely want to tell you that you should be subscribing to this channel and hitting the bell along with subscribing so that you know when all kinds of fun stuff is coming your way. And today, I'm talking about some fun stuff. So buckle in. Uh, put your cat ears on and let's get cracking. I like getting presents and what I have to tell you is that your cats like getting presents too. I'm not here to necessarily tell you exactly what to get. It's more about what type of presents your cats really want to get. So without further ado, let's get into the type of things that your cats really want. So the first thing that I just think that no cat can live without and you can't buy enough types of this type of toy would be interactive toys. You've heard me talk about this before. You're on one end of it, your cat's on the other end. You get that bonding time where you're running around making a total idiot out of yourself while your cat is chasing something around. One hint for you, whatever that interactive toy is, or toys, of course, that you bring home, Think about it in terms of different types of prey, whether they're air prey or ground prey. Is it the type of toy that you drag around the floor or make fly through the air? Try different ones because your cat will vibe with something, that's for sure. And just remember that when you are playing with interactive toys, when you're done, put it away. Put it in a cabinet, because what we really want is for you to open up that cabinet and it's going to have the excitement of like opening up a can of food. You open that cabinet, you open that toy, your cat's like, w w I've been waiting for you all day, buddy. Another gift that you want to get your cat is another type of toy. It's called an independent toy. Now, these are the types of toys that traditionally you have it, you chuck it, your cat goes after it, they bat it around for a while, then they either fetch it, yes, cats can fetch and do fetch, or they just bat it around for a while and walk away from it. And at the end of the day, you scoop up all the independent toys, you put them away someplace, and the cool thing is because they're so inexpensive, you can just toss them all around the house, pick them up, change where they're going to be, just keep changing the toy landscape. And that just means that while your cat's walking around the house, something is gonna catch their eye. Another hint is that you can always have an independent toy in your pocket, and that way if your cat's getting into something you don't want them getting into, you just make the sound, you chuck it, and suddenly they're after that instead of after whatever it was you didn't want them after, including other cats. Cats should have kickers because, man, if you've ever seen your cat bunny kick something, and it's not a kicker, but it's like your arm or your leg, you're like, man, I wish there was a product I could bring home from my cat where the, oh, kickers. And a lot of them are stuffed with catnip, and it's just to get that kicking energy out of them, they're gonna like you for having kickers around the house. And another gift is yet another type of toy. And that's what I would call a self-activated toy. It's just one that either runs on batteries or that you charge up and you flick a switch and it does something. And whatever that something is, it will hold your cat's attention for, well, however long it holds their attention. But any amount of time is a good amount of time when it comes to the life of a cat. I think it's great to have on hand and I think your cats will thank you. Just the same as I will tell you with any of the other toys, pick them up when they're done, present them because that gives them import for your cat. Food puzzle toys are just amazing for, on so many different levels. First of all, again, your cat being able to smell something and then solve a problem in order to get that food, that not only slows them down in terms of food intake, but it, it really speaks to that raw cat. Just as much as hunting, scavenging is also a part of cat. And the cool part about food puzzle toys these days is that they can be adjusted as you go along. You can make them harder or simpler uh, and start at a total novice level and build their way up. There's an incredible variety of toys out there right now, which makes this just a great idea for a gift for your cat. There's also the concept of nose work, which is something that 
until recently was really only ascribed to dogs, that you would hide different things that have different smells, and it was your dog's job to use that nose and find that reward. Well, now we have gifts like snuffle mats that you can get where your cats have to do the exact same thing. Something that your cat will love if you bring home. Believe me, your cats will love it. Another thing that you want plenty of, and this of course is a great opportunity for you to bring plenty of them home, is scratching surfaces. It's really important to find the surface that your cat likes to scratch. So that's why you wanna buy a variety of things. And maybe you wanna try sisal rope covered scratchers or wood, just a plain wood scratcher or something that's a carpet covered something just to see what your cat likes. You can get all of these and put them around the house any place where your cat can go and they can smell themselves because they've left a scent mark and they can see themselves because they see the claw marks. That's cat mojo right there. That is confidence. And really, when we're talking about a lot of these products, it's about an invitation to greater confidence. So the next category of things that your cat will love you for if you bring them home would be resting surfaces. It would be really easy for me to just call them beds, but they're not. Beds are just part of what a resting surface is. So those nice cushy beds, again, different shapes, different textures. Do they wanna be totally covered when they rest? Do they wanna sleep on a mat? Do they wanna sleep somewhere in between? Do they like it when their eyes are just poking out from behind their bed? Do they like the cushy? Do they like something that has the texture of like AstroTurf or anywhere in between? It's a great, Thing to find out so that when you bring it home, your cat actually uses it. But resting surfaces don't necessarily mean just beds. Like I said, mats are also something, something that resembles a blanket, something where they get to soak their scent into. Then we're talking about where resting surfaces and the concept of catification sort of intersect, environmental enrichment. And that comes in the form of cat trees, cat condos, something that starts to explore the vertical world, gives them places to climb and resting places to settle in, all in the same unit. And these are things that traditionally you're gonna to wanna to put in or near a window so that not only can they climb up, but they can survey their domain. That is cat mojo. Think like Lion King just sitting up there on the, the mesa or whatever that is, just looking out. This is my world right now. That is what is achieved by things like cat trees or cat condos. Also another different type of resting surface are the, it's sort of a, a cross in between a cat tree and a bed. And those are the types of beds that actually attach to your windowsill. So it's up, it's a little vertical, but it's a resting place. And if you put all these things together, and I'm going to point to a video over my head about catification, because one of the real tenets of uh, catification is the cat superhighway. The ability for your cat to go from resting place to resting place, from pit stop to pit stop, and that creates the cat superhighway where they can go around a room without ever touching the ground. And that, believe me, is something that your cat's gonna be really happy about because they like territory. And territory can be like here, and territory can be up there. There are four exits on this plane. Make sure to pay attention to the lit areas and don't forget where the slides are. If you live in a house and you come home with a birdhouse or like a hummingbird feeder or a bird bath or something like that that your cats can watch from the window, your cats are gonna be really happy. Often people say to me, doesn't that just frustrate the cats? Well, sure, if you never play with your cats, you know, all engagement doesn't have to be active. Cat TV rocks. Just make sure that you balance it with actual real life play. Here's another fun thing to bring home for your cat, a water fountain. Uh, if you've ever seen your cat go nuts at, a, at the faucet or in the bathtub or anything like that, or just, you know, putting their paw into a, a, your glass of water, uh, you know, here's the thing. Let me just tell you, anything that you bring home should work for both you and your cat, and fountain will definitely work for both parties, believe me. Now, one thing that your cat's really gonna love, meaning like, if they had a say in it, they would bring it home for you, is any one of my books. 
Total Cat Mojo, Catification, Catify to Satisfy, and Cat Daddy. What, what do those all have in common? They get ideas percolating in your head about what you can do for your cat, and then you bring things home for them. See, that's the mind working there. And the most important thing is, those books get you to know your cat better. Know all cats, know your cat, then, uh-huh, then you know what to bring home for them because you know them. So yeah, that's just a shameless plug for my books. And I don't feel bad about it at all. So what else would your cat really like? Carriers. We think of carriers as like, well, why would my cat like that? I mean, it's just the thing that I put her into to get her to and from the vet and if we have to go for a car ride or something. Well, that's where you could be improving on your thinking, my fine cat mojo tier, because it should be a place where your cat's really comfortable, where they actually want to go. A lot of them double as very comfy beds and then they just zip up and you can take them with you. Or they have the ease of taking the top off or the door off and that way you can convert it from bed to carrier. And man, I, I gotta tell you, if they choose to go into their carrier, if they associate it with a good thing, then the rest of it, which is going in car rides, taking them to the vet, but taking them to wherever else, I mean, it's a piece of cake from there. And to take it one step further, if you haven't seen my Jackson Galaxy Deluxe Convertible backpack, well, you should see it because not only is it a carrier, it's a backpack and it's a place to hang out and it accomplishes all those things. Having a potentially great association with going outside and adventuring uh, or even going on a plane ride because you can take it and put it under a seat as well. Uh, but all these things should be able to accomplish different functions. So in this case, it's getting your cat to do something ordinarily they wouldn't be crazy about, but that's because they're being tricked into it because it's really comfy. All right, so that's, I you know, I just feel like I'm just scratching the surface with all of this. <laughs> get it? Scratching surface. What I was trying to say was that I'm just scratching the surface on the types of products that will make your cats really happy when you bring them home. It could be just sort of an everyday thing where you just bring a different, uh, facet uh, of exploration or play or sitting or scratching or anything like that into their lives and you will be thanked for it because anything that breaks any of us out of our routines is something that becomes a gateway to more creative thinking. And, uh, and when it comes to cats, just being able to sleep better because they actually had activity going on in their lives. Uh, hopefully, you're gonna find something in here that your cat's gonna love. Anyways, uh, if you wanna see your ideas turned into a video, don't forget also put it down in the comments below. That way I, I go through them and uh, maybe I'll pick your topic. And the other thing I will remind you is most catter days we have new videos coming out and during those new videos I actually participate in a live YouTube chat that goes on for the first 20 minutes or so so make sure that you set uh, your notifications for premieres so that you know exactly what time those new videos are premiering so that you can be around for that chat anyhow don't forget to subscribe as well and hit the bell and we will talk to you very soon uh, and hopefully you will be bringing home Lots of fun things for your cats. You're welcome, cats. You're welcome. I'm the one who did it. You're welcome. Light, love, and mojo to you guys. Meow.